this vision and become the mission of Jose Bay Hong Kong so that we will all realize that God is really good, good enough to start a church here in this place. So, Good morning to everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Alicia, the history of our birth and first in 1989. Um, I was only six or three months in Hong Kong. I went here with one sister. And I see the needs in Macau. And I said to my pastor, Pastor Fan, Reverend Banson Fan, Pastor, I would like to open a center in Macau. My pastor said, if you just started in Hong Kong, you're going to have another in Macau. You will be, uh, you will not be able to do it. Establish first the work in Hong Kong before you go to Macau. So in 19, no, it took a long time before I realized that I had this burden in Macau. When in 2000, in 2000, I came back and uh, I'm not up to 2000. It's 1996 or 1997 somewhere. Earlier than that, when the sister sent his brother, uh, she, she, they, they are here. And I was introduced to them. So I started coming to Macau and visiting them. I couldn't come but not visiting no one, always going around. But every time I come here, I stay with my brother's house. And for a long time, since 1990, now because we found it, it was 11 years before I saw them again uh, three weeks ago I've been looking for them so in 2000 I came back again and met one pastor and I said I'm willing to help but it seemed it was not God's will because they did not uh, accept my help so again in 2001 when the other brothers went here um, I, I found another group I said, would you let me help you? I'm bringing a group of pastors here. We could reach Macau. You have just used them. I'm willing to help you. I always offer to help in music and evangelism and discipleship because preaching is the work of the pastor. Then, smile lang ang natanggap ko. So, reject na naman ako. So, anyway, uh, after that, I came back again in 2005, um, finding the first pastor I saw before and was not able to meet him, and then find another church, another pastor. The same thing I said, I will help. I will always help. I'm not thinking of establishing work that time because the work in Hong Kong was too much for me. Then they did not give me attention. They just want to help a close fellowship, but not really me helping them. So it was cut short. And then year 2007, when Pastor Tan Do came to Hong Kong, originally he wanted to work in Hong Kong. So when he worked in when he was in uh, Hong Kong, it seems difficult to start to work in Hong Kong because there are so many hostels. So we were we went hiking, and that afternoon he has to go out to Macau. You remember that one? And I said, okay, you'll be preaching in our church on Sunday. You better come back uh, tomorrow. So Sunday morning, I go, I heard a call from immigration and interviewed me. Even how, whatever I said, they still did not let Pastor Tando come in. So I said, well, the Lord put you there. Why not? Why not survey Macau? Survey Macau for me. We don't know what the Lord has it uh, in that place for us. So he met Pani, I think Pani. So I have a classmate. Student. 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 Oh, sorry. I have a student here. It's funny. Nandito pala siya. Okay. Why not say anything? And then so, the rest is history. As you know, most of you know it. We offered our, um, Pastor Tano uh, asked our help for him. I talked with. I offered my help again um, last December. I said I could come here. But I was not really accepted as coming here to teach music or whatever but we studied. It was not God's will. I won't say maybe. I will say it was not God's will. And so finally, with all waiting, I've been waiting after trying to consider many things, been waiting and praying. In March, in May when I went home, April, I said the Lord is leading of me of something, but I am not asking anyone to come with me. But the Lord is leading me now because my body is frail. I could not come to Macau, even I enjoyed Macau. 
I'm afraid uh, my my attention to Hong Kong will transfer to Macau. So I said, Brother, put a pastor here, and so we'll pray. I talked to my tower beacons, our council number first. Uh, half of them are here. Brother Rodel, uh, Lulu, uh, Marilu, and uh, Leah. No, Leah. So four of the council members are here. Half are left in Hong Kong. So they are here, they see the work. And so they all are willing to start a new work. They said to start a new work. So let's pray. Then we went, I went home to the Philippines and talked to the partner church, Don Baptist Church pastor, Pastor Bob Escobar, and some of you have seen him. And he said, as the Lord lead us, we are going to start a new work because Macau is too big. I said, my heart is in San Malo. I always talk about that San Malo. You know? I even stay there, even 10 o'clock in the evening when I was meeting my sister here and going around and looking around. I said, I might find some of the people I know in Hong Kong that may just be going around here. I didn't realize that Joby is here, Debbie and uh, Gina are here. I didn't realize that until one day, uh, I did, one of the community told me. So in short, when I came back, I still have some consideration. Should we start or not? But when I asked one of the brothers, I said, uh, he's not from Macau, he's just visiting here. Um, I'm waiting for the go signal, but then when I heard what is the waiting again, I said we could not wait anymore, we're going to start. So the Lord has led us, and it was amazing how the Lord has led us to this place. Um, it is, I said, I want in San Malo. If you notice, I always say, I want in San Malo, I want in San Malo. I don't like in any other place. And so finally gave us here in San Malo, which is by faith, by the believers here, should take care of. We could start and send to the council members, um, the rent will be just 4,000, but it went beyond that. But thank the Lord for their heart, the members are in Hong Kong, that they're willing to contribute. And when I ask for extra, nobody complained. Nobody complained. So anyway, uh, we got the place. If you know, just hours after I paid the rent, there was the cohesion and I'm telling the owner that the rent Somebody is taking this place for 6000 6000 But we have paid already. I think the the agency is trying to convince the owner to have the other one. Kasi mas mataas. But then in companies, although I cannot follow through, I understood. The owner said, give it to them. I don't have any more problems. So when, I, when the agent asked me, what are you going to do with the place? I don't know. In companies, I say, <laughs> so anyway, the, the, the story, we paid a place, we got a place, and we are, we are here now by the Lord's mercy and grace, and we do not know who are the pioneer group, whoever has signed, we will talk later, what's more. And I believe the Lord can work here wonderfully as I have worked in Hong Kong. I see more potential in Macau than in Hong Kong. So I would like to ask two or three of the people here to give a short testimony uh, in their heart what they can say. Bigay ko po yung panahon sa kanila. Nagandang praga po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Nana Sonia, 62 years old, may apat na anak. Dating Katoliko. Sa biyaya ng Panginoon, nang dumating ako dito sa Macau, hindi ako agad naging Christian. Matagal pa bago ako naging Christian. Uh, ako ay nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon dahil dumating yung panahon na ako ay kanyang dituin at tanggapin siya siya ang aking Diyos na tagapagkitas. Simula noon, ako ay nagsilbi sa mga churches uh, hanggang ngayon. At ako ay nagpapasalamat lagi sa Panginoon sa mga biyaya na aking tinatanggap. At ako ay nananalangin na sana sa akin, sa nalalangin ko ng araw ng aking buhay, ay lagi niya akong gabayan, maging tapat sa Kanya. 